had an extra round of V75 this Sunday when the circus traveled all the way up to Barisoker. The turnover was over $3 million and it was a wintry track. The first leg saw a very clear favorite in number seven, Knife Town winner, who went off stride in the start, then came back exceptionally well on the far outside here. However, as they, we reach the final stretch, Melby Don Juan has the lead and Hagen Toy digs in good in the middle of the track for Robert Berg after a defensive drive along the rail. Number nine, Hagen Toy poses an upset in the first leg on the V75. Look at the comeback from Knife Town winner there we got to remember him for next time the value on the v75 starts off at 39 dollars in the second leg uh, we had number five jordan lee gl in the lead on the outside Earl folson has global teardrop going well through the last turn global teardrop is trained by the same amateur trainer as hagen toy who won the first leg and as we approach the wire number 10 global teardrop takes over from jordan lee lg and valley streamline who pulls the pocket number 10 global teardrop gives this amateur trainer his second win on the v75 in the same day 156 dollars and 40 cents the value on the v75 in the third leg it was time for the cold bloods and alfie was a very clear favorite starting off from the ground distance all other horses were handicapped by 20 or 40 meters and uh, number 11 art charval was one of those who started off 40 meters behind but as they reach the final turn he's neck to neck with alfie alfie does her best on the inside and never completely surrenders but at the wire ulf erickson manages to convince art charval to win it by a neck Alfie a good second and Brew Viking an upset as third. $1,547.40 the value on the V75. In the fourth leg we had a very clear favorite in an SG Carpentier, still undefeated. 58% on the V75. He came to the lead relatively easy for Dora Contio and looked like a winner all, all the way out, up until about 100 meters from the wire. When the stable mate Aventador SF comes with a late surge for Urianchi Chielstrom in owner colors. Orian Chielstrom was replacing Mika Force today who could not make it. Number 12, Aventador SF wins for Orian Chielstrom and gives team trainer Timo Normos a double. The value on the V75 now $7,604. Million Dollar Rhyme was a huge favorite. 72% on a very inexperienced horse. He was in the lead. He was never let alone. And as we reach the final stretch, he runs out of gas completely. Instead, the form horse number 10, Welk, takes over. And the small trainer, Joachim Elving, is very happy about his first V75 victory this year. Number 10, Welk, posts an upset. And the value goes up all the way to $37,348 with two legs remaining. The second to last leg had uh, extra fudge with Contio and Nurmos as the favorites and Contio made no mistakes here. This US born horse has now reached the age of seven. He's had a lot of injuries but he was always promising. He started off with four straight wins. He now has seven out of 12. And as he took the lead quite comfortably and Diorma Contio was allowed to dictate the tempo, number five extra fudge wins it very comfortably. Good finish from Bestival High School in second place there. The value still $37,000 approximately. One leg remaining and Mon Etoile was the favorite for Torsten Tietz. who started off very nice behind the gate and was allowed to take the front after about two, three hundred meters. Number eight, Mon Etoile in the lead as we reach the final stretch. Panky Panky Francis comes with a great finish on the outside and out of the pocket comes Sangrita Oz. Mon Etoile on the inside, Sangrita Oz out of the pocket, digs in good on the out outside, accelerates. Mon Etoile on the inside, Sangrita Oz on the outside and at the wire it's number eight, Mon Etoile with Torsten Tietz. And with that winner from Germany, the V75 value is high. $131,627.20 for seven correct. Six correct will give you $1,049.40. And each five correct, $72.60. Big congratulations to anyone out there who won that big money on the V75 this Sunday. My name is Michael Loudon. Thank you very much for this weekend.